anytime I start filming, Mailbox just like wants to leave. Hi everybody, I'm Ellie Spaghetti and welcome back to my channel. So it is another month, so I'm doing a favorites for the past month. So today I'm doing March. Let's just get started. So I'm going to start off with TV shows because I, I usually start off with movies, but I haven't been watching movies because I've been so into this TV show and I only have one. I've been watching America's Next Top Model on Hulu. I grew up watching reality TV and it's the only content I'd like to consume, please and thank. But I grew up watching America's Next Top Model. I just remember watching it all the time. I would always watch reruns of it. And now it's on Hulu. There's like 22 seasons on Hulu, so it's probably going to take me a while to get through it. So there might not be any TV shows <laughs> for the upcoming months. But yeah, I'm on season 3 right now. I'm, I was currently watching the finale as I was getting ready. It just brings back so many memories. And that's why I love being in front of the camera and taking pictures and modeling. So moving on to music. I've listened to this stuff when it came out, but I haven't listened to it again. So the first one is Joyce Manor's Cody album. It came out in 2016. But I listened to it, and I like the songs. I feel like I'm at the point, the perfect point in my life to like really, really get into it, I guess. My favorite song off that album is 18. It's just a good song. Joyce Manor is like my favorite band. I'm pretty sure I've said this before. They're like my top artist for Spotify's 2017 like recap thing. But yeah, I've been listening to Cody because I feel like I didn't really get a chance to listen to it when it first came out because there were so many new albums coming out. But now I'm really listening to it and I still love it. So this next one came out when I was in high school, I believe. It's Lady Gaga's art pop album. It's such a good album. I can't believe people really let it flop. I feel like it's just a good album to dance to, to have fun with. I love screaming the songs in my car. My favorite song off that album is Mary Jane Holland. It was in high school and it still is. But I started listening to it again because they've been playing art pop at work, like the title track. And I absolutely love that song. That one's like one of my favorites. I love every single song. Except Dope sometimes. It's kind of too slow. It's like a good come down for the album though. So yeah, those are the only two I have. Because they're the only two like albums I've really been listening to. So let's move on to makeup slash skincare. Because that's what I've really been trying out in March. So the first one I have I did a review on it it's the milk foundation and I absolutely love this foundation I always get compliments on my skin whenever I wear it and it makes me so happy because I love it when people compliment my skin this is really long wearing for me I feel like my skin's actually been better it's not too oily I might have to try it in the summer though because I get really oily in the summer but my skin looks so nice it actually does like blur out my skin which I love. I have combo skin. I'm pretty sure I said it in the review. But any dry, I always get like dry patches on my forehead and like around my chin and my cheek just because I get like acne dry patches there. And this didn't like accentuate or make anything look gross and like crusty. So I'm happy about that. And then this milk foundation is $40 retail. The next on my list is the Urban Decay Cannonball Mascara. I said before I don't like waterproof mascara, but I like this one. I went to Ulta to get a perversion mascara and then they had this one, but it was like four dollars cheaper and it's waterproof and I was like, I'll give it a go. And I really like it. Springtime allergies have been killing me lately. So a waterproof mascara has been necessary. And this one gets the job done. My lashes look super pretty whenever I wear this one. And it doesn't run. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> this was 20 It was $4 cheaper than the Perversion Mascara. So 
Good deal. The next one on my list is the Anastasia Amrizi highlight. It is such a pretty gold shade. I'm wearing it today and I just absolutely love this. I love gold like highlights on my skin because it just looks pretty and this is such a nice like light almost champagne-y kind of gold and it's so pretty. It's made me fall back in love with highlights so I'm really excited to use it in the summer. This highlight retails for $28 which is a pretty good deal. Most highlighters in Sephora are like $30. So next on my list we're going into skincare a bit. So I ran out of my e.l.f eye cream so I was like I want to try something else I'm always like that with like products I can't commit to products that's just my thing I'm trying out the Burt Bees intense hydration eye cream and I absolutely love how this smells it smells like floral but it's not like overpowering and I'm super sensitive to smells and this just like goes away for me but it smells so good. I just have really dry under eyes, so I just need like a really hydrating eye cream. And this one has been doing so great for me. This retails for $18. So the next one on my list is the Formula 1006 Cleansing Water. I really needed a new cleansing water because the ones from Pacifica have coconut water in it. Besides the cactus one, but I couldn't find the cactus one when I went to Ulta. So I got this one. So I really love this after I take off my makeup. I love cleansing waters like in the morning when I'm lazy to wash my face. Cause it still gives me a nice good clean skin feeling. This is really good at taking off the rest of my waterproof mascara. Cause I don't know, it's just so hard taking off waterproof mascara and that's why I don't like it. But this one does the job. It's really nice. This retailed for $6, I believe. I just know it was under 10 So the next one on my list is the Kose RX Whitehead Power Liquid. And when I tell you my skin has cleared up, it has cleared up completely. And I feel like it is because of this. I've used a good chunk of it already. And I absolutely love it. I try to do it like every other day. That way it's not like too harsh on my skin. It is so good. I feel like it really has been clearing up my skin. Maybe it's just me not using coconut in my everyday life anymore. Maybe it's this. I don't know. But something's working. This one I'd gotten a while ago. But and it retailed for 18 I believe. So this next one is Mari Badescu's Cleansing Milk with Carnation and Rice Oil. So I ran out of my gel melt cleanser from e.l.f. The e.l.f. one only had like an ounce or two of product. And this one has like six ounces for just $2 more. So I was like, this sounds better. And this one's $12. The only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't foam up to wash off like the e.l.f. one did. But it still does a great job of like taking off everything and then the next one on my list is these little cleansing cloths i got from walmart it's like the that makeup eraser thing but i got like a pack of three for like two dollars so i was like mm, might as well so i just put this on rub it all over my face and then i go in with this i wet it in the sink and it just wipes off everything and i love it it's so soft too it's so nice so the last one on my list are uh, Morphe brushes. So you've probably seen me use them in a couple videos But I have some like dirty ones that could show you that I've been using them So I really been needing some new brushes So I invested in Morphe's vegan brush set. I bought the The 18 piece one because it was the same price as the 15 piece one. I was like might as well get more brushes so I've gotten this Morphe brush before. This is like my first one. I think I got it at the mall somewhere. But it's the Morphe M4433. I love the blending brushes. All the little brushes. These don't have names. Which I'm kind of like upset. Like this one's. But anyways. It came with like a cute little belt for them. So I was like that's so cute for travel. Did I mention this before? I feel like I've mentioned these brushes before but I don't know. 
I got it for myself for Valentine's Day. I needed brushes and I really love these. The brushes were around 50 and then adding the shipping and tax. It was, it came out to 60, which I don't find is too bad for like 18 brushes. They're like my first brushes that I haven't bought off of Amazon or just like a few from like JCAP Beauty or e.l.f. So I'm really excited about these. So that's it for makeup and skincare. And I just have a little, I have a couple little extra things. So the first one is this little symbol. So I like to do embroidery and sometimes materials can be thick and it hurts my thumb to push the needle in. So I got this one. This one was like $12 at Michael's. It's made with like soft leather, which isn't vegan, but I need this and I don't want the rubber ones. And it's a little coin thimble, so it's really good just to like push the needle through. This is the bag I'm currently using. Um, the Scorpio patch I put in, I believe I sewed it in like last year and I didn't have this and my fingers were dying. <laughs> my thumb, it just hurt for like a while. I like did it, stopped midway and then once my fingers had healed, I had to it, like, I finished it. But I used it for this patch and I did it within like half an hour. Yeah, I used this to finish my my jacket. I have a picture of it on my Instagram and also it's pinned on my Twitter if you want to check it out. My social media is always linked down below. On my jean jacket, it's a picture of my hand holding Mailbox's hand. I had made the outline a couple years ago, but I was too lazy to buy thread and also my fingers hurt. After I bought the thimble, I bought some thread with it and I finished it and it's one of my favorite pieces I've done and I'm so excited to like embroider again. And this next one, um, I got these little fig bar snacks. My mom gets them for me at Costco and they're so bomb. This is the apple cinnamon one. I found these at Sprouts the other day so you could get them there just to like get a little box. I really love the raspberry ones so. I saw a strawberry one at Sprouts, and I really want to try that one. But if you like, like, Big Newtons, these are so good. So that is it for today. I hope I try out some of these themes that I really loved from Marge. I hope you watch, like, a and or something if you love that show like I do. Just try something new. It's always good to try new stuff. It's always a good, fun time. Until next time, I'm Melly Spaghetti. Bye.